Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon, and welcome to the Shrine and Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins, and we ask God's mercy and forgiveness. In all humility, all together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord of mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord of mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on the earth peace to people, people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, you. we give you thanks, thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord Lord God, God, Lamb of God, God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take take away the sins of the world, world, receive receive our prayer. prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone alone are the Holy One, One. you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Jesus Christ, Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who from living and chosen stones prepare an eternal dwelling for your majesty, increase in your church the spirit of grace you have bestowed, so that by new growth your faithful people may build up the heavenly Jerusalem. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me back to the entrance of the temple, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east. For the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the southern side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the southern side. He said to me, This water flows into the eastern district down upon the Araba, and empties into the sea, the salt waters which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish, for wherever this water comes the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, Fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month 
they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore, we fear not, though the earth be shaken and mountains plong into the depths of the sea. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. There is a stream whose runlets gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst. It shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of the dawn. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, you are God's building. According to the grace of God given to me, like a wise master builder, I laid a foundation, and another is building upon it. But each one must be careful how he builds upon it, for no one can lay a foundation other than the one that is there, namely, Jesus Christ. Do you not know that you are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For the temple of God, which you are, is holy. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please, be, please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. I have chosen and consecrated this house, says the Lord, that my name may be there forever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, as well as the money changers seated there. He made a whip out of cords and drove them all out of the temple area with the sheep and the oxen and spilled the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And to those who sold doves, he said, take this out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples recalled the words of scripture, zeal for your house will consume me. At this, the Jews answered and said to him, what sign can you show us for doing this? And Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. And the Jews said, This temple has been under construction for 46 years, and you will raise it up in three days? But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they came to believe the scripture and the words Jesus had spoken. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang simbahan ay tahanan ng Diyos. 
Ito ay bahay dalanginan. Ito ay sagrado. Kadapat bigyan ng respeto ng paggalang. Tinatawag kayo ng Diyos na pumasok rito. Hali kayo. Pumasok kayo sa tahanan ko. At eto din ang sinasabi sa atin ng ating mahal na ina ng manawag. Hali kayo. Pumasok kayo sa tahanan namin ng aking anak. Kailangan natin pumasok ng simbahan. Kasi dito tayo humuhugot ng lakas. Lalo na sa panahon natin ngayon. Panahon ng pandemya, panahon ng matinding pagsubok at ng walang katiyakan. At mga araw na to, panahon ng kalamidad. Sunod-sunod yung mga bagyo. Hindi pa nakaalis yung isa, ay dumarating na naman. Kaya isang ating dasal ngayon eh. Panginoon, tama na po. Hirap na po kami. Maawa na po kayo. Ito ang ating sama-samang dasal. At sa simbahan, lumalakas yung ating tinig. Kasi sabay-sabay tayo nagdadasal nito. Kaya gusto natin pumasok ng simbahan eh. Kasi sa simbahan, doon tayo nakakatagpo ng tibay ng loob pag tayo ay nanghihina. Doon tayo nakakatagpo ng pag-asa kapag ka gusto nating sumuko. Nabibigyan tayo doon ng liwanag pag tayo nadidilman. Nakikita natin muli ang tamang landas pag tayo ay nililigaw, naliligaw. Sa simbahan, nabibigyan tayo ng paalaala pag tayo ay nakakalimot. Sa simbahan, nagkakaroon tayo ng katahimikan at kapat kapayapaan. Kasi dito natin nakakatagpo ang Diyos sa kanyang tahanan. Pero ang simbahan, hindi lang sa yung gusali, yung structure, yung building, hindi lang siya yung gusali na may bubong, may dingding, may sahig, may upuan, hindi po. Maliban dyan, ang simbahan ay buhay. Hindi sa malamig na semento o matigas na tabla. Siya po ay buhay. Bakit? Sapakat tayo ang simbahan. Ikaw, kayo, ako, tayo ang simbahan. Tayo, mga binyagan. Tayo, mga katoliko. Tayo ang buhay na katawan ni Kristo dito sa lupa. Kaya tayo ang simbahan. Kayong mga narito ngayon sa loob ng basilika. Kayong nasa inyong mga, mga tahanan. Nanonood, nakikinig. Kahit sa ibang probinsya, kahit sa ibang bansa. Tayo ay simbahan. Tayo ang buhay na katawan ni Kristo. Kung tayo ay nakakahugot ng lakas sa simbahan, dahil ito ay tahanan ng Diyos, mari naman pala na tayo makahugot ng lakas mula sa isa't isa sapakat tayo ang simbahan tayo ay makakakuha ng lakas at inspirasyon sa isa't isa nakatanggap ako ng mga messages galing sa makakilala ko mula sa Bicol yung mga biktima ng Bagyong Roli at sabi nila Father maraming salamat po sa tulong ninyo Material, pagkain, damit, kamot, pinansyal, pera. Pero higit sa lahat, Father, yung dasal ninyo, yan yung nagpapalakas sa amin. Kasi alam namin na lagi nyo kaming pinagdadasal rito. Kaya lumalakas yung aming loob. Hindi kami nawalan ng pag-asa. Babangon muli kami. Kasi pinagdadasal niyo kami. Nakakahugot kami ng lakas. Tinutulungan natin sila. Pero alam niyo, sila din tumutulong sa atin. Kasi nabibigyan din tayo ng inspirasyon. Tayo ay humanga at saludo sa kanilang determinasyon na muling bumangon. Kahit sila'y pinadapa ng hagupit nitong bagyong role, 
Sinira ang kanilang mga bahay. Sinira ang kanilang mga pananim. Sinira ang kanilang mga kabuhayan. Nawala ang kanilang mga mahal sa buhay. Pero hindi sila nasiraan ng loob. Tuloy na bumabangon at tuloy ang buhay. Kaya tayo hanga at saludo sa kanila. Kasi, kasi sabi natin, kung nakakayanan nila, makakayanan ko rin. Kung tutuusin nga eh, yung pinagdadaanan mo, yung wala isa pinagdadaanan nila, ano sa kanila walang natira? Walang natira, kundi yung damit sa kanilang katawan, basa pa. Ikaw, ano pinagdaanan mo? Rireklamo ka? Pero sila, eto, hindi susuko. Mabangon? Kaya sasabihin natin, kung kaya nila, kakayanin ko rin. Mas matindi nga pinagdaanan nila eh. Pag hindi ko kakayanin. Eto ang simbahan. Nagtutulungan. Tinutulungan natin sila. Tinutulungan nila tayo. Pinagdadasal natin sila. Pinagdadasal nila tayo. Pinapalakas natin sila. Pinapalakas nila tayo. Hilingin natin sa ating Panginoon at sa ating mahal na ina. Panginoon, mahal na ina, lagi mo pong gabayan ang iyong simbahan. Sana'y lagi kaming magkaisa, magtulungan, magmahalan, magbigayan. Ang simbahan, ang tahanan ng Diyos. Doon kami humuhugot ng lakas. At ang simbahan, tayo na pinanahanan ng Diyos. Kaya humuhugot din tayo ng lakas sa isa't isa. Panginoon, huwag mong pabayaan ang iyong simbahan. Sitayo po tayo. Our Savior dwells within each one of us, the living temple of His Church. Baptized people gathered around the successor of St. Peter. We pray to our Father inspired by the Holy Spirit. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the universal church may grow in unity and faith through our fidelity to the Pope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That nations may live in peace and avoid vindictiveness and rivalry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those searching for God may find the rock of Peter's faith and the courage of St. John the Baptist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may demonstrate our faith by the way we care for and use this church building. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may become living stones in the eternal temple. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And we continue to pray for our suffering brothers and sisters who have been victims of these recent, recent calamities. Loving Father, you raised the body of your Son, the glorious temple of the resurrection. As his mystical body and temple on earth, we offer our prayers to you, hoping to share in the same resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, the offerings made here, and grant that by it those who seek your favor may receive in this place the power of the sacraments, and the answer to our prayers. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you, in your benevolence, you are pleased to dwell in this house of prayer in order to perfect us as the temple of the Holy Spirit and supported by the perpetual help of your grace and resplendent with the glory of a life acceptable to you. Year by year, you sanctify the church, the bride of Christ, foreshadowed in visible buildings so that rejoicing as the mother of countless children, she may be given her place in your heavenly glory. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you beheld us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, his Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, 
mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Now, in loving confidence, we pray to our Father in the words Christ taught us. Our okay. Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Do not look on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit we offer each other the sign of peace peace be with you peace be with you peace be with you lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace please kneel Here is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please kneel for the credo of stewardship. Credo of stewardship. I believe in stewardship. I believe in the God of love, the owner of everything who possesses everyone. I believe in the God of mercy who has chosen me to be a steward of Mother Nature and Mother Church. In spite of who I am and what I have done, and in spite of the infidelities he knows I will still commit. I believe in the power of giving and in the power of loving like Jesus, because love is the only way to holiness. Giving is the best proof of loving, and perfect renunciation leads to unlimited fruitfulness. I believe that in freely giving my time, in humbly sharing my talents, and in generously sacrificing my treasures, the Lord will always provide. He will take care of all my needs and bless me with infinite, infinite reward on the earth and in heaven. I will be the first to give. I will not wait for the others. I will keep on giving even if others do not give. I will not be afraid to have none. I believe that the best time to share is now, not tomorrow, for tomorrow is an excuse of the greedy. I will keep my needs and wants simple and few, for I believe that in reducing selfishness, I will grow in happiness and holiness. I am a steward of the Lord. I will return all this to Him with abundant yield. Much is asked of me because much has been given to me. I praise the Lord for His kindness to me, now and forever. Amen. Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Pray for us. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who chose to foreshadow for us the heavenly Jerusalem through the sign of your church on the earth, grant, we pray, that by our partaking of this sacrament, we may be made the temple of your grace and may enter the dwelling place of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo at pakikiisa sa banal na misa. Pag-ingat po kayo sa pag-uwi at naway lagi po kayong pagpalain ng ating Panginoon at ng ating mahal na ina. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of the Mass is ended. Go to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our sickness. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all sickness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, images, oils, copulas, crucifix, and other articles of devotion be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.